Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and today I will show you everything you need to know about curtain walls in Revit. So, first to start drawing a curtain wall, we need to go to the wall command. You can either click this icon over here or you can use the shortcut WA. Now we're in the wall command and here we have curtain walls, here we have our regular walls. But here under curtain walls you can choose between these three. Now I'm going to draw all three of these and then we'll see the difference. So first let's draw the curtain wall. Okay, this is the first curtain wall. Now the exterior glazing. And lastly storefront. Okay, now let's go to 3D view to view these. Now these have all been drawn like regular walls and if you want to know more about regular walls I suggest you watch my tutorial on walls in Revit. Click here if you want to view it. Okay, now here we have our curtain wall, our exterior glazing and our storefront. So first let's see the curtain wall. This is basically just glass, it doesn't have any grids or mullions, so this is just a rough glass wall. This is if you have a model that doesn't have to be too detailed, or you just want a large clear surface. Now, when we look at this exterior glazing, it's basically the same clear wall, but it has separation. It has these grid lines, and they create a separation in the glass. And when we move to this storefront, we see it has both these grid lines, and on each grid line you can see these little mullions. So this is the most detailed view. Now let's talk about these curtain grids and these mullions. You can actually draw them yourself by going up here on the architecture tab and on the build uh, palette and you can find here curtain grid. You have curtain grid, you have mullion and you have curtain system but curtain system is used for mass massing so this is not something that we'll be going over in this tutorial here. So first let's see this curtain grid. You can choose either all segments or one segment and you can come over here and basically here we have no segments and when we hover near a horizontal grid line or in this case end line you will see a vertical grid line will appear and now you can place it and over here and it will immediately make a glass separation there you can do the same thing horizontally or you can come close to this one and create it and if you want you can make only one segment so when you come, when you hover fr from underneath, it's over here, and when you come from above, it appears over here. So maybe we have more separation up here. Now you can select these, and then you can move them around. But if we come to maybe this one, and hover over it, select it, and try to move it, you can see it doesn't want to move. That's because it's basically pinned in place. That's because when we create this, when we go into edit type, you can see it already has an algorithm on how it determines the size of the spacing. So we have vertical grid and the spacing is fixed distance and this, it is this and horizontal grid has spacing that's 4000 millimeters fixed distance. You can change this to maybe a fixed number or ma maximum spacing, whatever, it will change a little bit on whatever you desire. But because of that, we can't actually move this unless we unpin them and now we can move them. Or we can use these dimension lines to move them. Okay, that's too small. Let's try 2000. Same thing goes for the vertical ones. You can select them, unpin them, then move them. And you can also add new segments over here. Just come to curtain grid and add more segments. 
Now on this one it's a bit more tricky because when you hover over it, it wants to select the whole tank. So you need to hover over whatever part and then you need to tab it in place. So hit tab, tab and here we have it. We unpin it and then we can move the whole mullion. Now if you want to add mullions to any of these, you need to just come over here, find the mullion tool choose which one you want to use and then start placing mullions on curtain grids and maybe we can have a different horizontal mullion so let's choose this one see it's circular oh I've accidentally placed it there but never mind so basically that's how you add mullions and now when we go back to level 1 you can see we can actually select these grid lines we can unpin them and we can move them basically in a floor plan so this makes it easier for creating architecture let's go back to 3D you can also basically uh, unpin these and delete them if you want and then you can tab your way and find the glass panel now you can unpin it and then here in the properties panel you can change it so you can put either glazed or solid which will make it just a solid piece of geometry that you can change or you can go with empty which basically means there it doesn't exist anymore let's tab it again let's try solid and when you make it solid you can go to edit type and you can assign material here I've assigned aluminum so you can use it basically you have one aluminum panel or you can create a door uh, I've made I've already made a tutorial on how to make doors on curtain panels or on curtain walls and if you wanna see it click over here okay I just wanna show you one more thing with these mullions let's go back to level one and let's go into the wall command and let's choose storefront I'm gonna use the rectangular tool over here and just gonna create basically a rectangular curtain wall now let's zoom in over here and let's select these two mullions in the corner because this doesn't really look right so if you can select it just tab it a couple of times unlock it hover over this one tab it use control to add to the selection and now unpin it too and then go here into the properties panel and let's change it with a V mullion just select this delete elements and see now we have basically a corner mullion when we go back to 3D you see this is that corner mullion let's select it and we can change it maybe to a trapezoid mullion so this is a bit different corner mullion but basically you can play around try different mullions and see what works for you okay that's pretty much everything you need to know about curtain walls in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and have a nice day Thank you.